He dodged police reaching speeds of more than 100 miles per hour on Interstate 94. Now State Patrol wants your help tracking down this dangerous motorcyclist. This chase started near the Century Avenue exit in Maplewood. And that's where 5 Eyewitness News reporter Jay Coles is live tonight with that story, new at 10. Jay? Bill, this is really crazy. It started and ended right here at Century Avenue and I-94 in Maplewood. We have extraordinary video of this guy darting in and out of traffic, endangering dozens of other drivers. Now, troopers ended this chase, but not until speeds reached in excess of 100 miles an hour. This guy was flying. Here's video of the motorcycle traveling in excess of 100 miles an hour. You can see more than a dozen police and state troopers in hot pursuit along I-94. Every pursuit is dangerous. And this one was no different. A state trooper tried pulling this guy over for speeding, and he takes off even faster. Incredibly reckless behavior on the part of the motorcycle rider. Um, he, complete disregard for the safety of others. Westbound on I-94, he makes a quick exit at Mounds Boulevard makes a U-turn and heads back eastbound on I-94, zipping by traffic. He then exits at Century Avenue South, and you can see he even darts through a police barricade. Eventually, he heads east at Valley Creek Road, still clocked over 90 miles an hour, and troopers call it off. Did you lose this guy, or was it a safety thing then? It would be a combination of both things. The trooper just felt like continuing that pursuit wouldn't have benefited uh, anybody? And that's the state patrol's pursuit policy. It's strictly common sense. It's decision making, so there is no magic number in terms of a speed or a distance or a time that the pursuit is going on. It's just judgment. This guy got away, just disappeared into the night, but troopers think they know who he is. He's lucky that he got away, but it's not over yet. And it's not over yet. They really want this guy. They do think they know who he is, but they need your help. If you by chance had witnessed anything, were in the area, could give them a description, they want to hear from you, contact the State Patrol. Reporting live in Maplewood, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News.